Iran has started loading fuel into the core of its first atomic power plant, a facility leaders have touted as defying international efforts to curtail the country's nuclear ambition. They were busy touring it Tuesday, witnessing what Vice President Ali Akbar Solehi called an important development. After fuel is injected into the heart of the reactor, we can say this is the final stage of the process, even though it may take one or two months for the whole 163 fuel rods to be placed in the core of the reactor. Solehi said it's hoped the 1,000-megawatt Boucher reactor would start producing electricity by mid-February. Earlier, that had been predicted to happen by November, but a leak in a storage pool delayed the process for months. Despite past opposition from the U.S., the Russian-built plant has international approval and is supervised by the U.N.'s nuclear agency. Under a deal signed in 2005, Russia will provide nuclear fuel for it and then take it back when the material's spent. That step was meant as a safeguard to ensure the fuel couldn't be diverted into a weapons program. But among opponents to Iran's government, one prominent exile, Mohammad Mohadassin, was warning against the project. Nobody can trust an Iranian regime and uh, running Boucher and helping Iranian regime to have uh, Boucher, Boucher nuclear facilities is a very big mistake by the uh, Western uh, governments. Still, Iranian authorities remain defiant about international opposition to the country's nuclear program. Spokesman Ramin Memon Parast. The pressures exerted against our nation politically or by using leverages of sanctions and other pressures cannot prevent our country from progress and cannot prevent our nation from accessing its legitimate rights in peacefully benefiting from nuclear science. The UN Security Council has slapped four rounds of sanctions against Iran over a separate track of its nuclear program, its efforts to refine uranium. That eventually could be used to create material for a weapon, though Iran has denied any such aim. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.